Good morning. I'm your anger, White Andy. And I'm Elle Porter. This week, our show will be focused on one of our school's many fun traditions, homecoming. Homecoming originated as the tradition of celebrating the first football game of the season, welcoming back former students and members, alumni, who would return to the campus and partake in the festivities. This year's homecoming game took place on Friday, October 15th, 2021, against the McNeil Mavericks, where Round Rock took the victory 51-7. As a show of school spirit for homecoming, each grade year was given the chance to decorate a given hallway in a competition between classes. Here are some of the highlights from this year's Hallway Decoration Day taken by... This year's given theme was Around the World. As you can see here, uh, the different class levels interpreted that theme in a unique, fun way. Everyone's hallway looked amazing, and the freshman class's hallway was ultimately voted best by our teachers. Another homecoming tradition is the parade, where clubs and other school associations create and decorate floats to travel along our parade route. Most floats bring and throw candy to the people, mostly younger children, gathered to watch the parade. The floats at the end of the parade are judged by volunteer staff who judge the floats based upon the decorations and the performance, enthusiasm, of those on the floats. The winners of this year's parade were BSU, Cactus Ranch Elementary, and the class of 2025. Perhaps the most unique tradition is the mum exchange on the day of the homecoming game. Here's a little history on to how this tradition came about. The homecoming mum began as a Texan token of affection given to a girl by her date in honor of the high school homecoming football game. As the games and rallies grew more popular, the tradition of a boy giving a chrysanthemum corsage to his date became standard practice. Today, the homecoming mum has developed into more than just a simple corsage. Most mums now include massive silk flowers with ribbons, bells, trinkets, stuffed animals, sometimes even lights. <laughs> they are now exchanged between friends and highlight a fun way we dragons connect with each other. Of all the homecoming traditions, the one most important, next to the football game, is the homecoming court. Each year, clubs across our campus nominate two of their members, and out of these nominations, 20 are voted onto our homecoming court. At our halftime game, we celebrate our court members and bring back the previous year's homecoming king and queen to crown the new ones. The winners for homecoming king and queen this year are Josh Duffer and McKenna Jaw. Congratulations! In addition to our great football team, Round Rock High School is the proud home of an amazing wrestling team. They have a couple of upcoming tournaments, and if y'all are interested in checking them out, their next one, the Capital Classic, will be on November 19th and 20th at Delco. Go out and support your dragon wrestlers. Dragons, this year our student council is working hard to get our school recertified as a no place for hate. To do so, they will be hosting several events throughout the school year to promote diversity and inclusivity on our campus. Their first event is a No Place for Hate pledge signing that will be taking place at school on October 26th. That day, you'll be able to sign your support of this initiative in your sixth period class and at lunch. Well, that's it for this show. Signing off, I'm White Andy. And I'm Elle Porter. Have a great weekend.